Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and this is going to be part of a, a possibly continuing series of videos that are just kind of just random one-off videos. They're just showing what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, and to give you maybe an idea of how uh, how to look at slates and how to think about slates, and they might involve actual lineup builds, they might involve whatever, but I happen to have had some time to take a look at the LCK slate for, I guess it's tomorrow, but it's the next one. It's like 12 hours or whatever it was. Um, just to see kind of what it would look like. It's a two-game slate, uh, quad on freaks and Fox in, in one game, and, and not, um, <sighs> Nashem, I, I keep getting, getting all the pronunciations confused, I'm sorry, and KT. Um, KT is a big favorite. So I imagine that KT would be projecting well and that this this second, this first game would be where you might be able to find you know, where people are probably splitting ownership up. So what I want to just show you is kind of what I'm looking at is like early looks at, at the sheets and then what early lineup builds kind of would look like. And and so I'll pull this up first. Hold on. That's the NBA. So the way the sheets kind of look is what I mentioned, you know, all KTF and and all KT and KDF, and then pretty decent sized drop to all the others, to and certainly a big drop to NS, to uh, NS, let's call it NS. And ownership is going to follow as well. So it's going to be a weird slate. It's going to be, um, you know, two game slate. It's going to require that, you know, mixture of trying to get unique or whatever. Uh, you don't want to play too many lineups, I don't think, because you end up getting the optimal and losing money you know, on slates like this. Although this one might not be that bad, you know, because we'll see. So what I did was I uploaded everything into the sheets and I ran my first set of lineups. And the first thing you'll notice is that Sabersim is giving me a whole bunch of four twos. And th that happens from time to time. Uh, and, and it's up to you to figure out what to do with them. The other thing that I would note about that, though, is that when you look at the pool exposure, I built 600 lineups, and of those 600, 540 of them are actually in uh, four threes, and only 50 of them are four twos. But for some reason, there are these random four twos that kind of made it. You know what I mean? <laughs> They kind of made it into these builds. So what I would do is is I would actually do kind of a sanity check to make sure that if you do play these four twos, they're, they're ones that you'd want to play. I guess that's the best I can describe this. And you probably, what I don't like to do is play one off in the ADC, for example, of the four twos. So I'd probably uh, X those out sort of immediately. But I'm not going to in intentionally knock them out right away. Um, what this usually shows when you get all these four twos is that they really want you to play the favorites, you know, and, and if you if you exhaust all the you know the best four threes, they'd rather you play four twos with the favorites than four threes with the underdogs. And you could argue that one way or the other, but that's what you're seeing when you have this first set of builds here. Uh, next thing I want to do is run the initial sims. And as you'll see, I put the uh, information in for the Shock Blast, which is the MME, the uh, Triumphant Warrior, and the Satellite, which I'm playing. So we're just going to run these live um, and, and see what I would get. Again, what you're rooting for, <laughs> if it to me, is for these four twos to disappear because uh, you prefer to play four threes if, if, if they were the ones that you were supposed to play, right? So let's just see. Yeah, they're still trying to jam in about 50% of my lineups into uh, four twos. Let's take a look and see what the exposure looks like. So 87% KT, 77% KDF, but, but you are getting some Fox and actually kind of a field size portion of, of, of uh, Nottingham, Nottingham Forest, Nashim Forest. Um, I apologize for my not knowing what the team name is. I've only played these guys a thousand times. I just look at this NS. What can I tell you? I can actually probably pull it up and 
not him. Whatever. It is. Anyway, um, so this is the first question I'm going to have to ask is whether I want to go with this and play these four twos or see what it looks like when I limit it to four threes. But the first, the next thing I want to do is see what happens when I go to min uniques more than one. So you go to min uniques two, and you get a little less KDF. When you go to min uniques three, you get less KDF still, and even less KT, and you get a pretty decent amount of of, of NS. So uh, let's see though if that also gets rid of these four twos. It still wants me to play the same line the same seven lineups at least of the four two so i'd have to take a look at that but let's see what would happen let's go back to the units one if i did make a rule that i only wanted four threes and see what that would do for me or to me so to speak. um so if i made it all four threes with min unique just one actually this is not as brutal as i would saw as i thought right you know, you'd be getting, and this this is why. So what happens is is the 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 Sims want you to play. They would rather you play the four twos with the favorites than the four threes with the underdogs. Um, I prefer the opposite. I I prefer to play the four threes with the underdogs than the four twos with the favorites. So I'm pro. I would probably be inclined to go with something like this. And this is actually a pretty cool distribution here. Um, if I went to min uniques two, for example, it wouldn't really change it that much. So I probably would do something like that. As a matter of fact, this is a this is a good way to start this this uh, this build. So I am actually going to start by boy, I'm playing forty. Crap. Uh, so I actually have to put forty in here. Where'd they all go? I just have zero. You know, let's just rebuild everything then. How about that? We'll rebuild and we'll, we'll, re we'll rebuild our 40. And see if we get to the same type of thing. Uh, and I like, I see, this is what I, I actually like a build that looks like this. You know, that, and, and you know, I'm getting to it kind of organically, right? I'm not by like, forcing my way into these underdogs. I'm kind of getting there just by using the Sims. Um, and that that gives me a, a good level of comfort. So let's let's run these again. Maybe I'll put you guys in a hold. Now you know what? So let's get it real time. And see what this, this this looks like. Doing okay in some tennis. We'll see how it turns out. We're currently in first place in the in the uh, in the single entry. We've got a. Well, we didn't score all too well, but we had Greek score who came in as a. Uh, Let's just say, I mean, low owned, yeah, twelve percent owned, sixty one hundred dollar underdog scoring sixty five is pretty, it's pretty reasonable. So hopefully that holds. Well, hold. I need three more, three more players. All right. So again, this is straight saber score without anything else. So let's go back and we'll just do nothing else except run the sa run the sims. Let's see if we get that same neat little dispersion. If not, again, well. We're going to probably also have to do min, um, uh, excuse me, uh, X out the four twos. So let's go uh, shot blast and see what it looks like. This already is not bad, but as you see, once again, ooh, it, it saved, oh, it saved the four three uh, rule I had. Perfect. So this is kind of what I want. Mostly the favorites, but a decent amount of these other guys. But when we go to min uniques two, it crunches it maybe a little more, a little bit more. What if I went min uniques three? Then it can crunches even more, gets you 45% NS, which this isn't bad. I, I kind of I kind of like this idea. Um you get a good amount of the underdogs. You went to min uniques three, which is fine. And let's now go check and see the players. Let's make sure there's not a lot of, no teams in the, yeah. So we don't have any teams or anything funky in the captain, which is good. We got double support for KT, which is certainly reasonable. 
I think this is a good way to go. So let's let's put these in the, the shot glass for now. And again, we got to see if there's substitutions, all kinds of stuff. Let's uh let's see what we get in the uh, Triumphant Warrior. This is where you probably get more chalk, yeah. The KDF and the KT. So I, I'm just I honestly would just kind of go with this, probably. And it would be the same for the the LOL, uh, the championship. So we're just going to do the top two into these, and then we'll save our lineup. So, um, again, it's er it's an early look, but it's important, I think, to know what the slate rates to be. You know, so that if you when you run your your builds later after projections update or whatever, you're not surprised when you get what you're getting. Um, I guess that's it. Um, again, not, not the biggest deal in the world, but it happened to be something I was doing, so I figured I would just throw, throw it up on the site.